If you consider something of great value to you, then you'll want to protect it at all costs. This kind of territoriality feeling is not only natural in humans, but also in dogs, even at much higher levels. Territoriality does not mean only property, so territory, but also a certain person or object that the dog considers as its own and naturally protects it. While all dogs possess this feeling, there are some breeds that have it deeply attached to their DNA. This is because they're bred to protect people, property, or different livestock, and territoriality has been a feature that's been intentionally increased. The Turkish Kangal, besides being considered the strongest dog in the world, is thought by some to be the most territorial breed. However, there are some breeds that have even higher doses of territoriality. One of them is the Doberman Pinscher. This man is responsible that today this breed is so territorial. Louis Doberman has created the Doberman Pinscher for his needs, so to protect him during his daily work. Today this dog is very territorial to anyone who approaches its owner. Akita Inu Labeled as one of the most loyal breeds, the Akita turns out to be one of the most territorial breeds as well. This dog was used to protect royal and noble families in Japan, so while visitors were controlled by the security of the palaces, they had to pass also the strict control of Akita. Rottweiler Rottweilers are quite quiet, and barking only happens when they assess that a danger is really present. Being one of the most intelligent breeds, this dog studies well what he has in its loop and never issues false alarms. The Rottweiler is a fantastic guard dog due to its great territoriality. Bull Mastiff A Mastiff and a Bulldog have been crossed with the aim of creating a brave dog that would guard large and valuable property from thieves. So their feeling of territoriality has increased to major levels in order to protect as much space as possible and to be as much effective as possible. Giant Schnauzer Having been used for a long time for guarding, giant schnauzers are not the best for welcoming guests at home. These dogs are instinctively territorial and they express this with a loud and deep bark. Also besides barking, they can also react physically if necessary. German Shepherd An adult GSD is mentally wired to protect the area where his home is. Bred to be herders, these dogs have been taught to have responsibility for the safety of other creatures, so they're naturally territorial, but also intelligent enough to analyze someone and then bark. Tibetan Mastiff on the horizon of his space, territoriality is wide, and this can reach even outside the property of its owner. Tibetans have used this breed to protect their properties, especially at night, as they're nocturnal dogs. This dog scares almost anyone just by appearance, so he removes a large part of intruders without reacting. Commodore the largest pastoral dog breed in Hungary, Commodore, defends the territory he considers his with fanaticism. This dog, used to protect the house and livestock, feels a kind of excessive responsibility for his herd, therefore is very territorial. Rhodesian Ridgeback Considered the most territorial hound breed, the Rhodesian Ridgeback has a fairly independent mind but is very reserved, so he keeps his territoriality controlled within himself until he evaluates the risk for real. However, the level of territoriality that they possess is thought to be very high. Cane Corso Cane Corso is a very sensitive breed that reacts to the slightest signs of danger, uncertainty, or family concern. While bred and used for years to guard large commercial properties, this dog has a feeling of territoriality that captures a wider space than what other breeds feel. This was all. Till the next video, stay safe and see ya!